In this video, we're going to cover some of the basic skills and knowledge that you're going to need to build a strong foundation in your internet business. Basically, to be successful, you're going to need four things. You're going to need a domain name, a hosting provider, an autoresponder, and a blog. And we'll cover all of those in this video. Okay, first of all, what is a domain name and how do you register one? Well, millions of people all over the world are using the internet on a daily basis with more businesses and individuals creating and posting their own websites on the internet than ever before. If you are new to the World Wide Web's capabilities, there is the first initial step that you'll need to take before posting your newly created web page. In order to have a website found on the internet, you'll need to choose and register a domain name for your website. A domain name is the base name which you can choose for your website. Now, a good example would be nameofyourbusiness.com. Try not to mistake it for the URL, which would be http colon forward slash forward slash www dot nameofyourbusiness.com. Your domain name is actually inside the URL, it's not the actual URL. And when choosing a domain name, it's best to go with something simple and effective. You'll probably want to use your company name, and if it's already been chosen, try adding a different end such as .org or .net. You want to avoid using diluted names like by-website-company-name.com because some people may forget the dashes and then they'll never find you. So why do you need to register your domain? Well, you'll need to register your domain name for the same reason as registering your actual company name with the state, so nobody else can steal your domain name, meaning there'll be two sites with the same domain, which isn't going to work. Imagine if we all lived on the exact same street. How would the post office know which house to go to if we all had the same address? It's the same on the internet. Nine times out of ten, when you sign up for a hosting account, which is what you'll need to park your website on the web, they'll offer you the ability to register a domain name for a year, or you can register it separately. And the first thing you'll need to do is to find an available domain that actively and powerfully conveys your company. That, as I mentioned earlier, that might be the company name, or it could be the name of your product, or it could be what your product does. Next, you'll need to register the domain by paying a fee, and then the domain is going to be yours for the time that the fee covers. Now, a typical fee for registering a domain name for a year will range from roughly $10 to $40, depending on the name and where you decide to purchase it. When dealing with the creation and posting of your website on the World Wide Web, you'll soon see that there are a few things involved. One of the most important steps that you'll need to take when deciding to enter the world of websites is to find and register a domain name. And the domain name will be the name in which you choose to have for your website. An example would be mycompanyname.com, as I just mentioned. And it's best to keep in mind that you'll need to put serious thought into the domain name itself and pick a company to register it for you. And here are some of the more popular ones. First one here is GoDaddy, and GoDaddy is probably the largest domain registrar, and they offer lots of different uh, domain extensions. You can see here you've got .com, info, net, org, me, moby, biz, usca, wsag, and so on, all the way down. Quite a large selection here. Um, not just for the United States, they've got ones like for Japan and New Zealand and Taiwan and so on and the, the UK etc. And they also do um, things like um, domain renewals, registrations, private registrations, they do back orders, bulk pricing and a whole lot of other stuff and you can also get um, web hosting from them as well and they are by and large the most popular um, registrar on the internet. They also do international pricing. I'm showing the prices here in US dollars but you can also, if I uh, click on here, 
you can see you can select your country or region all the different ones here that they cover or you can choose from several different currencies here so you can generally buy from GoDaddy either in US dollars or in your local currency another one is Dotster and Dotster are very reasonable priced and they do uh, dot com dot net dot org dot biz info us dot ca dot tv dot name c c d e s r m d co dot uk us dot com and so on and they've got special offers going all the time so it's worthwhile checking back from time to time uh, they also do uh, hosting plans and so on and so there's quite a quite a lot of stuff here uh, on Dotster. Another one here is Monica.com and again very similar they do lots of different um, top level domains and again you can buy and sell domain names as well they've got uh, uh, a marketplace snap names where you can buy and sell um, domains at auction so if you don't want to have a brand new domain name you can buy an existing domain name uh, via their auction site then you've got this one here registered.com and again they're quite reasonably priced uh, they also do um, web hosting and web design and that sort of thing uh, you can start off with just a basic email package right up to fully fledged e-commerce Namecheap is as the name implies uh, where you can get some very cheap domain names and they also offer things like uh, SSL certificates and so on and uh, finally there's one and one and there are some great perks when you join their domain accounts and it makes it one of the best registrars in many reviews and their benefits include private registration emails email aliases domain forwarding URL masking and DNS management and they have lots of different um, domain extensions you can get .com .net .org info name biz US WS Mobi and so on and you can see here there's all the information about what they do right here on their website and when you're picking your domain be sure to choose one that's going to be effective and easy to find you know if you can't find the domain name of your choice well try a different extension to see if you can find the one of your choice so if your website dot com is taken then try your website dot net or your website dot org or perhaps if you're uh, in a country that has a country designation you could have dot um, co dot uk or dot com dot au or dot ca that sort of thing to see if you can't find one that will do just as good a job and choosing the best registrar to register your domains is pretty easy you just look at the price and the benefits and see which one is going to best for your need now always avoid any registrars that you feel are scammers and make sure that the one you choose has a guarantee and a good feedback history let's talk a bit about web hosting now the internet is littered with websites ranging from A to Z but where do all these sites come from and how are they on the web these are all questions for a newbie looking to create and post a website on the internet for all the world to see well the magic answer is web hosting and web hosting is a service provided by many companies that allows your website to be part on the web you'll need hosting for any person to view a website at any time and owning a website is much like owning a house or a business the domain name is the address the hosting is the lot or property the building in other words the website is placed on and the answer to this question is merely based on preference 
It's always best to go with a web hosting company that has great features, prices and reliability. There are free hosting companies but they're not as good as the fee based companies. So if you plan to have a website that needs to be seen 24-7, your best bet is to go with a paid for web hosting company that fits your needs. I'll just give you a quick rundown of some of the best web hosting companies and the services that they offer. Um, GoDaddy, which we talked about a bit earlier, has a really wide range of services along with their web hosting. And that's why they're the largest and the best rated company on the web. And they have packages ranging from economy to unlimited as well as all three on a specified payment plan. You can get email, MySQL databases, um, and a whole lot of other stuff as well. In fact, if I scroll down here you can see you can see the different plans that they do um, right up to the unlimited one and so on and they can do things like um, dedicated hosting and all sorts of other stuff as well and they're very reasonably priced. Another one is yahoo.com now Yahoo is known as a search engine and as an email service but they also offer web hosting and the benefits of using this web hosting company is unlimited emails, free setup, 30 day money back guarantee, unlimited domains or one domain free for life and quite a lot more and the prices are fairly reasonable as well you can see at the time that I'm recording this video you can get 12 months for seven dollars and forty six cents a month for the first three months and then nine ninety five a month thereafter and that's a pretty good deal another one is fat cow and this is one of the best rated web hosting companies in many reviews and they offer a free domain name for life which is going to help to eliminate constant renewals every year and some great benefits that you get are unlimited bandwidth unlimited email accounts unlimited domains that you can host on one account um, and of course free setup. They also offer MySQL databases, site builder and a lot of other features and as you can see uh, right now they've got it on special $58 a year, regularly $88 a year which isn't a bad deal even at the regular price. And then there's JustHost.com and it has a great many features as a web hosting company including a free domain name for life and you also get free setup 30 day money back guarantee unlimited bandwidth and unlimited domains under one account and the prices range anywhere from five to eight dollars a month in fact they've got a special going at the time I'm recording this for 395 which isn't a bad deal at all and also they have um, helplines set up in various countries so for example this is the United States you've got a number that you can call for support within the US in the United Kingdom you've got a local number there and again pricing in sterling so it, it just helps sort of simplify things and it's easy to see that there's a wide variety of hosting companies to choose from each fitting the needs of different people and web hosting is a fact of life on the web and while using a free service is obviously cheaper it's not the best option for those looking for reliability another great thing is that many of these sites offer referral and reseller programs for those interested in making money to pay for the hosting the number one thing to remember is to shop around for the best web hosting company that fits your needs. If you've ever filled out anything on the World Wide Web, you would have been contacted by an autoresponder. Autoresponders are programs that send out automatic emails to a person after they've filled out a form online. For example, when you sign up for a website, there's usually a confirmation email sent to you, and that's the work of an autoresponder. There are two different types of autoresponder, standard and advanced. The standard is basic and it's great for thank you emails. So when you send someone an email or when somebody sends you an email and you're out of the office and you get an automated reply saying I'm away on vacation, I'll be back after such and such a date, that's a fairly simple uh, autoresponder. The advanced ones are more in depth with capabilities of scheduling unlimited automated emails. And this is especially great for newsletters or promotional coupons. 
Autoresponders are one of the greatest technological advances for many businesses. If you have an average of, say, a hundred orders a day, do you really want to spend the time sending a thank you email to each customer? Well, probably not. Any website that actively responds to their visitors will benefit extremely from an autoresponder by saving them time and stress. Let's just take a look at the top two autoresponder companies, and that's Aweber and GetResponse. Now, Aweber is one of the top rated autoresponders on the World Wide Web. One of the best features of using Aweber as your autoresponder is the fact that it's one of the most powerful email marketing tools to date. Using Aweber as your autoresponder will allow you to send an unlimited amount of emails to your website's visitors with a click of the button. You'll also be able to create your own newsletters or choose from over 103 pre-made templates to send immediately or schedule for a later date and time. You'll also be able to split test different messages to see which ones are the most effective. Aweber also allows you to view and analyze clicks in your emails. Aweber also allows you to create opt-in forms and pages without HTML knowledge, which can be very handy indeed. And you can simply create uh, an opt-in form and place it on your site or in a pop-up. And you can also have your subscribers sent to a certain page on your site after they fill out the form. And you also have an easy-to-use autoresponder management system to manage your email marketing campaigns. The other one is GetResponse. And, um, GetResponse is another autoresponder that has made it on top of many lists across the internet. GetResponse prides itself on having unlimited features like unlimited messages, unlimited message length, follow-up autoresponders, broadcasts, and a whole lot more. And they also have advanced features to enhance your personalization of your email messages. And you'll also be able to view statistics with their tracking tools that track clicks, sales, visitors and a whole lot more. And you can also manage multiple lists at the same time as well as being able to block certain email addresses to reduce spam. They also have a feature where you can create an unblockable pop-up as well as eliminate robots from signing up to your forms. Now autoresponders are a great technological asset for many companies and should be an accessory of all businesses. With the time that you're saved from having to deal with all the emails that you're going to get, you'll be able to focus on making money. So try out Aweber and get response to benefit from the many features of having an autoresponder today. And we'll continue this video in part two.